Welcome guys. On this video, I'm going to guide you guys step by step on how to start mining on just about any PC. Now, when I say just about any PC, you can do this on a small laptop, you can do this on an, an expensive laptop, you can do this on also a high-end laptop. I'm going to guide you guys uh, the step through and also even saying that I also mine on a small laptop. This is my laptop and I use um, HP I use HP 15 if you know what HP 15 is this is HP 15 right here um, it's just like the oldest system that you've ever seen this one right here this is my PC um, I think these are like the latest ones this this right here is my PC so this is like a very old system now um, if you have a latest system or you decide to like have a graphics card or so this is actually going to improve your mining experience but if you are not uh, ready to have to spend much you can just start with just about any device you have on you and you can see the system right here this is the information of this system um, you can decide to buy a system like this or you can just decide to go with the one you have now let's continue with this tutorial um, to start mining we need three things we need a, a mining pool we need a wallet address and we need a mining software now um, for the mining software um, the mining software that I use is called uh, uh, the mining software that I use let's go ahead and get the mining software that I use I make use of um, SRB miner and this is actually very good for low-end miner so um, click on the download area and then you click on download from github to start downloading this miner and there is actually something to actually pay attention on guys uh, if you are watching this video make sure you watch this video to the end I am going to be sharing a lot of information and do not worry I am not going to make this video long I am just going to go direct to the point sharing information to you so now um if you are ready to start mining make sure you download the zip file if you are making use of a windows laptop but if you are using a linux you can download the one that actually fits your case but for this tutorial i am making use of a windows laptop so you can download windows uh laptop uh this particular software for it and now something to pay attention on you see where they wrote 64 now what this actually means is that this is only going to run on 64 bits now if you are using 32 bits you might have a lot of issue running this miner but if you are using a 64 bits this is going to work perfectly well if you are following me so now click on this and allow you to start downloading so this is going to download and this is my own file i already have it and also when i mention 64 bits if you do not know how to check if your system is 64 bits this is what to do you go to this computer or my computer and then you click on this area this top area you click on that and it's going to display information for you and you can notice right here it says my system type is 64 bit operating system which is correct for the software we are downloading and if your own says 32 bit you might need to reformat it and format it making use of a 64 bit and also if you cannot follow this step to confirm mm -hmm. the type of system you are using you can just click on this search area and then you type in dx dike just type in ds dike like i'm doing like this no dx dike just like i'm doing and then you hit enter this is going to load up and then show you an information on your screen uh it might say yes or no just click on yes then after you've done that it's going to display you this information now reading through this information just read where it says operating system you can notice my windows is running on windows 10 enterprises 64 bits and you can see the build so i am making use of 64 bits if your own says 32 bits right here this is totally wrong and the software might not work properly well or it might not work at all so if you are ready and you have done that now let's go ahead and check what we downloaded go to the folder where you have it downloaded and then you extract it i already have it extracted right here but i'm still going to extract it anyway for you and also another thing you need to do before you extract is to disable the windows um antivirus so you click on this search area and then you type in virus and if you have any other antivirus go ahead and disable it because this software does not actually allow you um the antivirus will not allow you to run this software on the same system so i already have my own disabled so if your own is showing blue right here go ahead and disable it by clicking on it you notice my own says off if your own shows this way then you are good to go now go ahead and close this out 
So the next thing we have to extract our software that we just downloaded. You right click on it and then you say extract all. Now when you do extract all, it's going to show you this information and then go ahead and do extract. Now I already extracted this before. That is the reason why it's showing all of this for me. If you are not extracted this before, it's just going to load up and once you finish, it's going to show this particular step like so. But then I, I just keep my own because I already have my uh, extraction done. So what I like to do, I like to copy this uh, software after I extract and then I go to my desktop and paste it where I can easily uh, reuse it, where I can easily use it because finding it on my desktop is going to make work easy for me. Now double click on it to have it open and then you are going to notice where it says start mining Alvin, right? Start mining Alvin. Now, Avin is a different crypto coin, but that is not what we are going to be mining. You are going to right click on this and then I'm going to say edit with notepad. You can just click on edit. It's going to use a different note editor, but I'm making use of notepad. So you, when you open a different editor, it's going to open also like this. Now, the first thing you need to do, you notice um, it says wallet and it also says Avin wallet. This is the first thing we actually need to enter. So we need to enter our wallet address and also we need to enter the pool address and then finally um, we need to set the algorithm now to do all of this first let's go ahead and get our wallet and we are actually making use of uh, binance although i have BitGet right here but i'm not going to be making use of BitGet. i'm going to explain the reason why later so make sure you watch this video so that you will not do the same mistake i made you are going to lose your money if you use a uh, a random network without doing following these steps in this video so click on deposit right and then um, you choose deposit crypto then wait for that to load up this might take a while and then um, on the coin search area type in rvn which is in ab uh, abbreviation and then you hit enter it's going to load up and show you alvin just below um, wait for it and my network is also poor so it might be taking some time to load up all right, so this is Alvin. You select that. This is Raven Coin, not Alvin. My bad. Now select the network and make sure you select Raven Coin. And then go ahead and click copy the address. So after you copy the address, um, you are going to come to that area you started editing. And where it says Alvin Wallet, you replace it with the address you just copied. You notice it says Wallet. You see the next is my wallet. Now, um, the next thing we need to do not forget, we did not miss uh, this password. You can leave it on default. You can also replace that. And then um, the next thing we need to do is to enter the pool. Now, how do we enter in the pool? Now, go ahead and open a uh, zip pool address by typing zippool.car. And then you scroll down a little bit to this area. And next, you need to change your region. Now, I'm currently in Nigeria, so I am always using uh, Europe. I can actually make use of South Asia or North America, but I always choose this. So I have selected that. And then for our algorithm, we are going to be mining with uh, Yes Script. So um, scroll down a little bit. This is Yes Script. Make sure you select this uh, appropriately. And for this uh, particular area, I always leave this on default. In fact, I do not know what this do till now. I always leave that on default. And then I'll enter my address here and then I'm going to leave it. And then for my currency, I am going to change this to Raven. R-V-N. Hold on guys, you are going to see Raven. Just uh, right here, Raven. Oh, that, that's a mistake. Okay, this is Raven right here. Now we've selected Raven and you can notice our server right here. Go ahead and highlight and copy the server. Copy that and then come over here and go to where it says your pool, this area, and then you replace it with your server. Now this is the server we are going to be mining with. And then for the uh, algorithm, we are going to be mining through yes script. You can see yes script right there. So yes script. Make sure you get the spelling right. If you actually got any spelling wrong right here, um, you are going to have issues mining. So every of my information is correct. This is optional, putting the password is optional. In fact, I used to leave this uh, 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 on default, which is um, the X. I used to leave that on default. But if you decide to put your password, it is still fine. You can go ahead and put the password right there. And once you're done, all of this information are accurate. Once you're done, uh, click on file 
and then you do save us and then i'm going to rename this i'm going to say start mining um raven so um on the beginning i am going to put this i like putting this word because i like i like it to always appear on top so this is what i want and then i'm going to save it and i'm going to close this so now i am actually done with everything that i need and my mining should just start so this is uh you remember i am um, this is the one i just edited right now um a start mining raven so double click on it to start and then it's going to start mining your raven in fact instead of double clicking on it it's working though it's actually working i'm going to do right click and then i'm going to say run as an administrator this is always do good to do from the first time so you start this up and this is actually going to load up and you can notice it start mining um uh, yes script and uh, the algorithm is 0 0.85 percent fee and then uh gpu mining is disabled cpu mining is enabled watchdog is enabled huge page is enabled available uh hws um this hws is depending on your system but these huge pages i am going to show you guys how to enable huge pages on a different video so um this is already running and our mining has already started and you can notice we are mining on two cpu core which is actually my CPU core. You notice I showed you guys in the beginning of the video and this is already running. So everything is working fine. Now, in order for you to know if your Raven is actually mining and if your mining is actually going well, you copy your wallet address and then you come to wallet. You click on this wallet right here, wait for that to load up and then you go ahead and paste it and then you hit enter. Now, when you hit enter, it's going to display you more information about that particular wallet being shown now you can see the wallet is actually active you can see my previous mining reward you can see my confirmed wallet and you can see the pending in it and you can scroll down and see that i'm mining on only one laptop yes um and you can see the has this is 22.4 has uh this is actually very low guys um i hope this improved but this is actually very low then anyway um, before I round up this video, in the beginning, I actually told you guys I'm going to explain the reason why I am mining with uh, um, uh, Binance Wallet. Now, guys, uh, if you remember when I was copying the wallet address, let me go ahead and show you guys the reason why I'm mining on Binance Wallet. So, if you click on this wallet area, right? Click on the wallet area. Wait for it. It's going to load up. Um, this takes time most time though don't worry can't wait so um you click on this drop down area and then you select crypto so we want to deposit crypto um this is also going to load up our asset area i know your own might be loading faster than mine because your internet is fast but do not worry it's loading now you see this is uh go ahead and enter arrow vn as usual this is raven just choose your raven and now you notice it says select a network you click on that and then you choose raven now this is actually where the i am um, the trick comes in if i actually selected this and this is the wallet address fine but now you can easily copy this wallet address and start mining but you can actually notice right here it says the minimum deposit is 0 0.4 okay i think they have actually reduced this because this used to be yes this is correct you notice the um, minimum deposit is 0 0.48 right now um Pay attention to this one for the Binance, 0 0.05 Raven. Go back here again, 0 0.4 Raven, right? Now, if you are somebody like me that is mining in this kind of pool, that um, that is mining um, with a lower spec system, and you are mining and they paid you this 0 0.03, right? If they pay you 0 0.03, it's not going to come here because it's not up to their minimum deposit. So your money is going to be lost forever. So you are not going to receive your raving mining reward because this is lower than their payout. But if it's actually, this is also not going to work. This is also not going to work. So all the reward I have been receiving so far is not going to work because their minimum deposit is 0 0.48. So automatically, um the minimum payout right here is 0 0.05 and this is actually set on automatic i i do not know if there is a way to actually manually uh set your payment to be uh paid uh 
to be paid at a particular amount but all i know is uh i just let it go and i, I get paid i get paid automatically when my mining is actually getting to its reward so uh depending on you depending on you guys um you can just decide so that is the reason why i don't use uh these guys and uh, i use um binance and also i've lost a lot of money mining i have also used the raven wallet to mine and i never received anything because of the payment uh minimum payment also so make sure your minimum payment is up to the minimum payment required so always look at this information right here this minimum payment when you are trying to mine with any wallet so that is the reason why i make use of binance and if you do not have binance you can use my referral code on the comment section i would really appreciate that and this video is already long enough if there is any other information or any other thing you need you wish to know let me know on the comment section anyway the mining is still active and you can notice it's increasing it's going to gradually keep increasing until it gets to like the highest i think um the highest i've been mining with um i think that was uh 1000 plus i've actually not gotten beyond that except maybe on pc when i'm using my desktop but my desktop is 40 right now so i only use laptop to mine so um i would not tell you if this is rewarding or if this is uh not rewarding but it is worth doing at least uh this is better than just having an id system sitting there and staring at me and you can see the hearts has been increasing so far so that is how it's going to keep increasing until probably increase to um to kilo has so uh thank you guys for watching this video i am going to see you on the next one peace